Hello Megan. I know the first session can be a little overwhelming, so please take your time. For the record, can you just introduce yourself? My name is Megan Williams and I'm 22 years old. Do you know why you're here? Why do you feel you need this counselling? I was told I need it. <laughs> the Brigadier advised I talk to someone about what I've been through. You feel like you have to come to these because someone told you to, when really you don't need anyone to tell you what you should do. These sessions should be of your own initiative. Guess. I've just been through a tough time. Could you tell me more about that? How long have you got? Well, we do have 45 minutes left of this session, but we don't have to cover everything this week. You can put more if you need to. Time is not an obstacle here. Time is not an obstacle? Sounds like something the doctor would have said. Would have said? Is he not around anymore? It's complicated. I mean, he is, but not how he was. This doctor, he's heavily involved in all this, isn't he? You two must have been very close. We were. He was my friend. My best friend. Sometimes it felt like more than that. I guess I loved him. Not like that. Not that kind of love. I would have done anything for him. I did. So what happened to the Doctor? He changed. Like, really changed. I don't even know him anymore. If you want to know everything, I'll tell you. But it's a very long story. Take your time. Sure thing. It's life or death, Tom. Me and you together. I brought you back, Ned. All the way. Light him up. I died. What a load of crap. Oh, game's fixed, I tell you. I mean, we'd be the best place. We can't even beat the high score. I want my money back. Owner's right there if you want to make a scene. No. Maybe another time. Yeah, who we can. Right, Tom, I gotta go. My uh, favourite woman's calling. It's your mum, isn't it? No. Yeah, whatever. See you, Ned. Hello? Who's this? Thomas Benton. Are you asking? Or have we got the same name? Because that would be pretty cool, but you're asking, aren't you? Yeah, right, okay. I'm Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart of the United Intelligence Task Force. Wait. I'm sorry, did you just say? Yes, I'm the Brigadier. I know a man of my authority calling you can be... You call me Thomas, please! It's Tommy. Ah, well, um, please excuse my last comment. Getting back to the job has somewhat gave me an ego. And my apologies, Mr Benton. Man, Mr Benton sounds official. I have an offer for you. One of the utmost importance. Can you get to Uni HQ? I think it's best if we meet. Right now? 
I'm busy, you see. I just left a girl's house, you see. Yep, absolutely. Is that so, Mr. Benton? And for the minute, I thought you spent your afternoon playing arcade games with your friend Ned. Are you spying on me? Of course not. Spying has the intention of secretly obtaining information or whereabouts of an individual. I'm just watching. Are you watching me now? Of course, Mr. Benton. Now, there's no need for rude gestures like that, is there? When do you want me at unit? Today, preferably. I know you have extraordinary skills as an engineer. Correct? Correct, but that's a tortured thing, you know. Then your credentials are there. So, do you wish to continue embarrassing yourself in front of more girls? Or do you want to do something extraordinary with your life? Yeah, go on then, but one thing. What's that? Do I get to meet the doctor? You're different. Well, of course I am. Change, my dear. Renewal. I feel so alive. I I feel so so I feel so radical. Hmm. That's a good word. Don't you think to take it easy? You just regenerated. Oh good god, no. I have a spring in my step and fire in my veins. Oh what's the oh. more like it. What the hell are you doing? I don't really know, really. But, uh, let's give us some more. Doctor, stop! Let's open up those engines. Let's get my ship raw! That's the cloister bell! Oh, isn't it just the most wonderful sound you've ever heard? Oh, cloister bell. It means crash landing. Wait, that's not a good thing, is it? Oh. Every button! How else am I supposed to know what they do? <laughs> what the hell did you do? I think I pressed too many buttons that time. No, Doctor, wait! You got electrocuted! Oh no. No, 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 The circuit's fried! We're going down!
Sorry, Sarge. There's something you should see. Uh, what is it, Tommy? Something knocked out one of our satellites, so naturally I did a sweep, and it picked up something falling through the sky. We found this not far behind it. It's the Doctor. Right, powered up the extraction beam. But it's not ready. It hasn't even been tested yet. Now is the time to test it. Just a few moments, we'll commence our in-flight service, offering you the chance to purchase from our select. Tommy, have you got that thing working yet? Look, it's as ready as it'll ever be. I just don't fancy being the one who kills the Doctor. It's not the Doctor. It's Megan. Now fire it! Well, I've got to work out the coordinates first. You can't spur an extractor beam into the sky. Tommy! Ah, uh, bloody hell, I hope this works! Megan, Megan. it's the free. Don't, Don't worry, worry. We've, got, we've got you. Bring her in, Tommy. With pleasure, sir. She's up. How you doing, kid? <sighs> My head's kind of spinning. My legs feel like jelly, but... Megan, why were you falling? Long story. God, it all happened so quick, I can't even process it. Um, the, the TARDIS was crashing and everything was mayhem. Then I fell out. The Doctor, wait, the Doctor, where's the Doctor? We don't know. Uh, there's no sign of the TARDIS anywhere. He regenerated. Right in front of me, I saw it happen. But it, he's so different and erratic. As is every regeneration. Imagine what it's like for him going under such a vast chain so quickly. It must be terrifying. Losing everything you are and starting again. Should we be out there looking for him? Yes, we need to be on the lookout for the TARDIS. If the Doctor's regenerated, his mind's going to be all over the place. Sorry everyone, didn't want to you know, interfere with anything, I've just seen everything, so... Alright? Megan, this is Tommy Benton, unit tech guy. Hey, nice to meet you Tommy. Oh, sorry, uh, duties to attend. falling and somehow ended up here. How am I not a mess on the pavement? I caught you. You caught me? Wow. Good aim. How? An extractor beam. It projects through an anti-gravity field like a tunnel. Well, I guess I should thank you for saving my life. No, actually I can't take the credit. Someone text break the coordinates just so happened to be your location. Someone texted you my coordinates? Did you find out who the text was from? No idea. Never questioned it, really. I just think... Give me a second. Wait, this better be important. Tommy, are you looking at the sky? No, I'm at work. 
Well, look out the window, quick, before you miss it. What is it, Tommy? No idea. You just stay here. I'll be right back. No chance. <laughs> It's a UFO! Tell me that real! Ned, I, I've got to go, I've got to go. Is it in there? Is it the Doctor? We're locking onto the TARDIS. Get to the crash site. The crash site? Sure thing, Brig. The crash site. I, I've got to go, are you tagging along? I don't know. You've got to. It's the Doctor, he needs you. Yeah, you're right. My head's all over the place today. Like that. He's the doctor. So that's him then. That's the doctor. Yeah, it's him. Megan, you're all right, aren't you? Excess regeneration is going to do the doctor more harm than any good, so we need to drain it with the karma. Uh, the karma? Oh, typical human. I'm telling you, I know what that does, but I'm telling you, not yet! Well, first, the doctor, honor to meet you, but it's something to help. I said, not yet! No, I don't think you should do it. You're scaring him. I know what it looks like, but I'm trying to help. <laughs> Oh. I'm just following orders. Tell Nick, back off, I mean it. I've been given strict orders. Screw your orders! Tell Nick that, soldier boy. They're not the Briggs orders, they're his. <sighs> just need a minute. Still with us. We extracted his excess regeneration energy. Makes him a bit giddy. He told you no. Clearly there was something wrong and you still did it. Come on. Don't. I'm sorry. I was acting in his best interest. He was in pain. It's his idea to help what he calls post-regeneration trauma. It's a common thing. Don't try and pin the blame on him. I'm sorry. Jeez. I was just trying to help. I followed instructions. We I just First time meeting him too. Who am I kidding? I'm sorry. It's just not been easy with everything. The war, losing him. Megan, are you okay? He 
is the doctor, isn't he? Of course he is. Then, then why did he let me go? When I was falling, he stopped me, but then he let me go. Because maybe he's the doctor. Maybe he let you go, knowing would save you. I mean, look at the state of him. Battered and wounded. There's no way you could have survived that. Do you think it was his plan all along? Maybe. But we're his friends, regardless of the face. We stand by him out of respect of his previous life. And help him find his way. June next year. <laughs> I know. I am so excited. I don't know how we managed to get the money for that, but oh, I guess it's um, it's just the old uh, Jones luck. Yeah. You still want to come to New Zealand, right? Is I love you. Yeah, yeah, hang on a moment. I just, I swear I saw something. I wish you could see this. It's like a, it's a fly. No, I'm not taking the mic. It's, Glowing. <laughs> yes, glowing, bright, illuminated. How else do you want me to explain it? <laughs> Hold on, I've, I've got to get a picture of this. <sighs> I wish you could see this. Oh, it's beautiful. Hey there, doodles. <laughs> no, not you, Alex. I think they're in high school, remember? Okay, there's quite a few of you now. Oh. Like a little light show, but how many of you are there? Megan? Come closer, my vision is a bit uh, impaired, you see. What the hell happened? How much do you remember? It's all very fragmented. I remember bits and pieces. Do you remember the karma? The karma? Oh, that explains a bit. Tommy, he said you designed it. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I did. He used it while I was healing, though. It stopped the process before it got to the eyes. Noble intent, but misguided all the same. Ah. Uh, yeah. Never mind. It's about time I had an incarnation that wasn't all perfect anyway. Where am I? My house. Nearest place of a bed. Ah, that's fair enough. Oh, your mum! I hope Ness is settling into the new time zone okay. She's okay. Megan. You let me go. I was hanging outside the TARDIS before you crashed and you... You let me go. Ah, Doctor. It's good to see you awake. Brigadier, is that you? Sorry, I'm I'm all good aside from the uh, from the eyes. What's wrong with your eyes? Half blind, mate. So the karma didn't have the best impact then. No hard feelings. Well, either way, I'm glad you're on the mend. Oh, yeah, you're right, Doctor. Uh... Pleasure to meet you, I'm a big fan. Uh, nice to meet you off the field. 
literally, yeah. Ah, this is Tommy Benton, one of our newest recruits. Good to meet you. Uh, sorry, new body, just trying to get a bit used to the reflexes. Yeah, about there with the, with the karma earlier. Um, I'm sorry. Mm, you know how it goes. Don't worry about it. You simply did as you were told. By me, funny enough. It's funny how the world works. Right, with all this happy gathering, I must be off. I've got business to attend to. I don't normally do these visits anyway. Oh, Brigadier, you came out all this way just to see if we're okay. Oh, I'm flattered. Well, I think I'm flattered. There's a funny feeling down there somewhere. When you're feeling up to it. He has just regenerated. Unfortunately, they're not going to stop just because the doctor's having an off day. Bad is leaving me, Brig. I'll have a look at it later. Oh, uh, Megan, could I have a few words before I go? Yeah. Meg, I've got to ask, are you okay? I'm not so sure anymore. I'm just confused. But this is a doctor. He's always one step ahead. Regardless how you feel, he cares. No matter the face, he still has the same hearts. Do you know how we saved you? Yeah, with that big vortex thing. Well, yes. But we found you because of him. He texted me the coordinates to where you were falling and he trusted us to save you. With how critical the crash was, in a sense, he was trying to save you. I had no idea. Maybe I just need to give him a chance and get to know him again. And you know what? I mean, it'll be fine. Because if he is the doctor, he'll welcome you with open arms, as he's always done. It's up to you whether you do the same. Time can be a great healer. We'll see how we go. I'm always here if you need a chat. Would you and your friends like a cup of tea? No, thanks. Who's that boy in the kitchen? That's, that's just Tommy. He seems like a nice lad. Are we really having this conversation? Well, I've missed 22 years of your life. You know, got to start somewhere. It's just a friend, Mum. I've only known him like five minutes. Just, just don't. Are you okay, my sweet? You should go out. Out? Yeah, I mean, a lot has changed in the last 22 years. Don't you want to see what's happening? I'd rather spend time getting to know my daughter. Yeah, I'll still be here when you get back. Just go out and have fun. What? That's, that's money these days? Yep. Everything changes. It's fine. Just have fun. Uh, uh, okay then. Um, right. Um, don't you go anywhere that doctor. There's a lot of things I need to know. You'll get an explanation, don't worry. Just okay. okay. You're, go you're a good girl. Take care. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Right. Oh. Oh. <gasps> yeah. Seventeen deaths in the local area. Unconnected. Blah blah. What are you? Definitely not your bog standard kind of houseflies, are you? Why are you interested in me? <clears throat> See, I 
know how this looks, but I promise you can have the second half. I'm good, thanks. If you take enough one, you buy me another pack. Sounds fair, I'll just um, sleep here. Whoa! Whoa! Flies! Big flies! Well, you need some repellent or something? What? No, no! Alien flies! Alien buggy flies! Growing things! You know, behind the window! In my room! Oh, whoever it is! Look, we gotta be on alert! Okay, Doctor, calm down. It's probably just the regeneration making you a bit. That's no regeneration side effect. What are those? I don't know yet. Space bugs? Well, they look like they mean business. They're attracted to me. They thought I'd be down here. Oh, they seem interested in you. They're always interested in me. Come on, run! Wait, surely we're safe, but inside and out in the open? Maybe. Or maybe they would never expect us to leave the house. Megan, you need to tell your mother to stay away. How? She went to town. Oh no, text her. She died in the 90s and got resurrected in today. She doesn't know how to text or swipe. Not in those days, is it? Keep it old school. We better get away from those things. They seem uh, pretty vicious. Uh, but they're only interested in me. Let's split up. Megan, Tommy, you stick together. I will figure something out. Dude, you can barely see a thing. How are we going to stand a chance? Well, I've mattered 10,000 years of survival. We're only about 34 accidents. Not about hit rate. Now go! Why would they be after you? Why now? It's me. Maybe it's not you they're after, maybe it's something like inside of you. You know how like predators chase their prey using the sense. Generation energy. So at least we know what they're after. Right, one of us needs to distract them long enough so the doctor can get away. Tommy, do you still have the karma? No, no, whatever you're planning, you can't do this! Well I need to cause a distraction. No, no, Megan, no, I've risked your life enough. You're not the one risking it this time. Tommy, take care of him. <sighs> that mad yet wonderful girl. She's quite something and I don't mind me saying quite the looker. Eyes up front, soldier. Honestly, I'm surprised you guys even managed to even put together the karma based on the schematics that I left you. Well, the Brigadier invited me. It was more of a side project, really. Well, it was a half-decent attempt. We did everything you asked. I don't deny it. It mostly went okay, except you used it while I was healing. Well, we can figure out for future regenerations. Well, hopefully that won't be for quite some time. Oh! Oh, I'm sensing a massive distortion over here. Where? Over there! Don't worry, officer, we won't be long. I'm the... I'm the... Uh, sorry. Words are a little bit scrambled. He's the doctor and I'm Tommy. The doctor? That's the one. Sorry, about an hour ago I was considerably shorter than this. Still trying to get used to the new height. And sorry, I'm rambling, reminiscing, reflecting. Sorry, no, tell me. What do you know about the victim? 23, name is Asha Jones. They were on the phone with their partner at the time of death and they heard everything. 
What killed him? Difficult to say. His partner said he was banging on about some flies. Okay. That confirms my fears. Which is? The body is physically fine. It's not even a sign of a naturally caused death or anything. It's... It's just shut down. So the body was in full working order? Nothing diseased or viral that caused the death? None at all. Perfectly healthy, theoretically, but I did find some subdermal puncture wounds on his hand, so it indicates that some sort of alien being decided to bite him in a most unusual way. I wonder. I hope it's not, but... What's the problem? Massive energy fluctuations. There's a spike in the distortion. It's pretty major. Major as in... As in time has been manipulated. It's those flies. They must have killed him and then soaked up his energy purely for a quick fix. And you're sure it's those flies? It's got to be. This is the 18th death in the local area. And they all bear minimum but identical physical symptoms. Well then we've got to find out what makes them tick. Look, I know I'm not going to get involved with this unit and tortured stuff, but can you tell me what the hell is going on? You're a police officer. Surely you must be aware that there have been 17 prior deaths in the local area. I'm aware, yes. We've been trying our best to find the source, but it's difficult when there are no leads and you guys keep taking over. Officer, if you're keen to get to the bottom of this case, then I need you to work with me. Now, tell me. Local area, what's the radius? About a mile, nothing further than that. So, they act close by, somewhere out of view, but stretches a mile. Oh! Oh, that's... that's clever. Sewers? Of course! I'll radio us in and get a warrant! There's no need for that, and no time either. Ashley Jones and 17 other people have been found dead, and they were murdered by an alien being! This is far outside Crime Watch's jurisdiction. We'll sort it ourselves! You can't just go trespassing down a sewer. Why not? Well, because. It's illegal, and I'm a police officer. Arrest me, then. I didn't see you. Either of you. Yeah, wait, hold on a second. Now, I know this will sound a little cliché, but I have a bad feeling about this. You're right. It is cliché. Oh, look at it. It's quite clearly a trap. Oh, I know that. But if 10,000 years of this sort of thing have taught me anything at all, it's if you're going to spring a trap, then you spring it on your own terms. But that's a sewer. No, really? I hadn't noticed. There's all sorts of bacteria down there. Germs, rats, and sh... You don't have to come. You hold the fort above ground and I'll sort it below. It's going to be dangerous down there, Tommy. Rats and germs will be the least of your worries. <laughs> no, you can't get rid of me that easily. I mean, look at the state here. I mean, your eyes like that. Seriously, it's a risk. Well, it's what I'm willing to take. And whether you admit it or not, you are stronger with me than without me. Officer, secure the perimeter. We'll be right back. What is that? Tommy, that's no way to attempt diplomacy. I seek audience with the beings I am present with under peaceful contract according to Convention 15 of the Shadow Proclamation. Oh! Oh! I'm not sure if that was a yes or a very stern no. Well, I'm assuming they don't speak English. I mean, look at them. Ah, I... What? A communicating host. What the hell? Megan! We are not Megan. We are known as the Time Flyers. <sighs> Megan. Oh, Megan, I'm so sorry. We chose this vessel especially for you. We know it has emotional resonance. And she was a good one. You killed her! And for what?! <coughs> Megan Williams is not dead. Not yet. Simply the dormant personality. You have no right to do this. Okay then. What are your terms? What do you want? We want you, Doctor. 
Why? We exist within the depths of this universe beyond time itself, where we flay free, feasting on the time streams of the insignificant. And then we saw you, a crashing TARDIS leaking all that beautiful time energy. We follow your trail, it led here, where we discover much greater energy, regeneration energy. So I'm guessing you have reason to believe it was from me? Yes. Your friend even had some in her device. All gone now, though. This new energy, we want more. Until we get it, your friends are ours. Tommy, get out of here! Hold the human down. <laughs> Be on his time stream soon enough. The mere snack compared to you. I am warning you. You are messing with the wrong time lords here. If you think you can push me, all my friends are armed. There is nothing you can do here. If we give us what we need, we're a starving species who is on the brink of extinction. You exist to kill the innocent, claiming their time streams by aging them to death. A little bit of regeneration energy, but just enough to get you addicted, huh? We shall consume this world and all of the time streams on it. Then we shall consume yours. A time lord with so many lives. It must be a TARDIS. Pure time energy. A feast we truly yearned for. Well... I'd be willing to help you with that. To an extent. What? Unexpected, isn't it? You kidnap my friends, you kill 18 people, you threaten me and the world that I love. But even now, I will offer you a chance. Why? Because I'm not putting anyone else at risk. I'm the reason you're here. My regeneration energy, my time stream. You can have it all, if you so desire. Just provided that you leave this planet and my friends unharmed. This regeneration energy is only valid for 15 hours, and you only have a couple of minutes left before the process is complete. Why would we settle for less? We can take it all our way. <laughs> See, I thought about that. Sonic screwdriver. More than that. A good friend of mine known as the Master installed a fourth setting. Laser mode. Admittedly, he told me only to use it when I needed to, to defend myself. However, one blast and I die, cancelling out the regeneration. Kill yourself will consume this whole world and all of the time streams on it. Well, you could, but let's be honest. You need this energy. Insignificant time streams will never be able to quench the hunger for long. Ultimately, I'm the useful one. I'm the one keeping the cause alive. You won't survive a mere human time streams, you'll die out. Face it, you need me. You're bluffing. <laughs> oh, I am not. I prepared for death long before this incarnation. I am the Doctor. A being who travels the endless worlds of time, helping anyone who needs it. You're not the first to come to this planet to throw your orders around, and you certainly won't be the last. But who am I? I am the one person who stands in your way. Now, choose! I knew you couldn't resist. Now, 
vacate their body, you'll get nothing when my friend is still hostage. That's agreed. Are you okay? Oh, you have nothing to apologize for. I'm just glad that you're okay. Thank you for keeping your word. Give us the energy. Well, if you're sure, buckle up. Stay back. You want this energy? Come and get it! essence of regeneration energy is now in you. We are still hungry. It's time for you now. What? What's happening? I... I made them a deal. I gave myself up to ensure that you and Tommy would be safe. Then the time flies will consume me, my time stream, and leave this world. No. I didn't ask you to do that for me. That's not what any of us want. I'm the reason they are here. Why 18 people are dead. And why you and Tommy got. Why you were put at risk. You can't do this. You can't die, come back to life, change your face only to die again. And then expect me to be so okay with it all. It's too much. I promised I would keep you safe. I've done a pretty shoddy job at that so far. Let me do this. No, there's got to be another way. We, we could... There isn't. I'm sorry that we never got to know each other properly. But right now, I need you to trust me and support me in this. I've supported you endlessly. How could you expect me to be so okay with this? It is time, Doctor. You promised me that once you have consumed my time stream, you'll leave this planet. That no harm will befall my friends or the residents of this world. No. Huh? We will consume all the time streams on this world. Starting with you and your friends. <sighs> no, that, that wasn't the deal! Do you think we would settle for less? Remain calm as we feast. Okay, Doctor. There isn't much time. Focus. It's time to think fast. I've got some good at thinking fast. So fast that all this is happening in a microsecond. Right. What do we have? The time flies. A parasite that will never change. Always destined to consume. The time flies consume the remains of my excess regeneration energy. What else? What else? Of course. You. Megan. Oh, I know all this is so hard for you, and I will fix this. But right now, I can't let that cloud my judgment. Think, Doctor. Time is running out. You need a plan. The Karma. 
a device designed by myself to extract regeneration energy. Wait a second. Of course! The solution is simple. The Karma won't be able to decide the difference between the time flights and the regeneration energy. They'll be absorbed and trapped in the Karma! The plan of action has been established. Now it's time to put it to the test! Stay exactly where you are! You broke the deal and have made it very clear that you're never going to stop. You killed 18 people today, and I tried to let that slide and give you a second chance. But <laughs> you broke me wrong with this double cross right now. So, the fact that you killed one person is more than enough for me to justify what I have to do. We will die out if we don't consume. You consumed enough energy to last you a lifetime. And nothing lasts forever. Save it. Make it last. Because prison is your fate. Consider this. Karma. Ah, Megan. Sorry, I'm not used to having a, a woman in my bed, you know, on the same bed, you know, you know what I meant. I know what you meant. How long have I been out? Bit complicated. For you I was here, but the doctor said you'll probably feel like it was a few days for you. A lot of it just felt like a dream. Did any of that really happen? Yeah, it all happened. Weird. Are you alright though? I'll get by. I'm just exhausted. Same. I'm sorry if I was being a bit rude to you earlier. I didn't mean it. It's just been a stressful few days. Uh, don't worry about it. Now you can go off gallivanting in the universe again. Something to look forward to, eh? I guess, yeah. Oh. Um, the doctor sends his congrats. What for? The karma. The doctor reviewed the schematics he developed for it, and they're out of date and shouldn't have worked. So clearly you did something right and, well, it ended up saving the world. Wow. Well. See you around, Tommy. She's fully restored now. Thanks for bringing the TARDIS back to unit. I've heard you've had an exciting day. It's been hectic for sure. Ah. What's next for you? New face, new life, new possibilities. So much to see and do. I can't wait to get back out there. Seeing all those stars and worlds. Helping everyone who needs it. And what about Megan? She will always have a place here, if she wants to come along. I'm not sure how she feels about the change. Give it a go. I'm sure she'll get used to the new you. I hope so. She means a great deal to me, Nick. And I've put her through a lot recently. Now, Doctor, Megan is one of the best people out there. I'm sure you'll make you through. Thank you. From the old and the new. Anyway, with that being said, I think it's time I found myself a new set of clothes. And saw something about my hair. Hasn't quite decided on a length yet. <laughs> well, anyway, see you around, Brigadier.
the purple. It's such a nice touch. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Did you pick this? For me? Huh. Of course. You knew exactly what I would wear. <laughs> Vision. At last. <laughs> Radical. Interesting story. I'm an interesting person. The relationship between yourself and the doctor has been affected by this change? Yeah. I mean, I know he's the same person. No matter what he does to his appearance, I know he will always be the same person. I get that. It's just. I think I have an idea why. This previous version. You two were obviously close. And now he's gone. So maybe you're pushing him away because you're scared to get close. Hmm. Maybe. And that's our time. We can continue this session next week if you like. That would help. Just make an appointment with reception. We'll see you next week. Hey Nick. Are you okay? Yeah, I will be. Thank you for recommending the sessions. I'm gonna have a few more. I think they're really gonna help, you know? talking about it. I'm glad. After all, you're only human. Yeah. Well, I better not keep him waiting too long. Have fun out there, and if you get to too much, you know where we are. Bye. Difficult day, all for you. It's hard to keep track of time in here. Difficult, yeah. Look, Megan, I'm sorry for always assuming that I'm doing the right thing. Um, I, I've only ever wanted to keep you safe, and I know things may have not gone off to a great start between us, but. I think we can start afresh, you and I. And I know it may take you some time to get used to this new face of mine, but as I said, I will always be the doctor. In here. I know. I know you're here, I saw it happen. 
I believe you. It's just... He was special to me and... So are you to him. As you are to me. Just... A different kind of special. Hey. You're Megan Williams. And you're the bravest girl I've ever known. Thank you. This is looking nice. You know we need a change of scenery. No more wars, impending doom. Something fresh and new. You you still want to come with me? Of course I do. What type of friend would I be to give up on everything that we've done? Well then, take my hand and let it go. And let me show you the stars and beyond. Let's go for it, Doctor. The universe is ours, my dear. Let's have some fun with it. Stranded on, we're stranded on Earth. Oh, what do we do now then? The only thing we can do, we have to meet the neighbors. <laughs> that was quick. I'm afraid you'll have to get used to having us around for a while longer, as we're not going anywhere. You see. The TARDIS is... The TARDIS is... It's... It's broken. morning a meteor crashed right here in Chesswood Park. Oh no. They're covering something up and they don't want us snooping around. I'm looking for the Brigadier. Look no further. I'm afraid Nicholas Gordon Lethbridge Stewart resigned. Something must have happened to him. I have all Daleks, Cybermen, Autons, Axons. You know I never did catch your name. The Master. A member of your own species, one who has caused so much disruption. The Master, she has access to Unit, Tortured, and the Black Archive. She said it herself, all powers go to her. This is war. Things are going to change around here. There will be order, and there is nothing you can do about it. 
the more time we spend wasting, or well, the more chance he could be dead. And whatever it is you're planning, it isn't gonna work. Trust me, it never does.